Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. I'm Diego. And we're back with more Noragami. Last episode we had uh, the fight with Bishamon. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> pretty ridiculous. Goku, we finally saw Goku's uh, oh, yeah. regalia and when yeah, it dies. Yeah, it was, uh, was it Goku? I think it was when his, when his regalia form. Um, I, don't, I think, yeah, it creates like a, basically a huge gust of wind and she dragged it right at the freaking ground which punched a hole in basically made a vent for phantoms Phantom, so another vent that was great <laughs> i mean uh, bishamon had uh all of her clothes, all of her clothes and everything, everything else that she were uses regalias. are regalias yeah she all had, of them mm, yep and yeah. I'm, I'm not okay and we said or i was i said anyway that i thought or that i think all of her clothes are separate regalia but i'm not sure no, yeah, no, because the only reason is because whenever they were showing the separate regalia, they showed them in different colors, and this like, the outfit looked like they were in the same uh, shade of color. But I could be wrong. I, I don't, we're not sure. Um, I would just I just thought that it'd be weird that all these separate pieces are are one regalia, but it could be, I guess. I also didn't think an animal could be a regalia, but apparently it is. We also see that uh, Gato is getting pretty messed up from the whole. Yeah, he has a blight on the back of his neck yeah, because uh, yeah. uh, you know, Yuki, Yuki has is he's Slowly dealing with a bunch of corrupt. He's dealing with a bunch of bad fear, right now. yeah, fear, fear he's, he's, trauma. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's fearing of being let left alone, um, being darkness and being, being consumed by becoming a phantom. By phantoms. Like, and uh, Nora showed up, you know. Tempting him again to use her instead, or that you know you can always use me. She didn't say instead, but she's like, you know, you can always use me. I'm like, well, uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but also I'm not sure if it's at least at the moment a good idea to be tied to Yuki, considering he's like one weakening Yato, and two, it, like making him more um, easier to to be found because of the blight. Because that, that's what uh, Bishamon says to not, you know, she said make sure you don't have a blight next time. It was either just to, because we found, or just it's easier to find him, which is. I just, sense. I just kind of thought it was like when she found him and as she fought, she could just kind of. Well, tell. I think she said she found him because of it. I mean, it could just be that like they just saw that he was fighting a phantom. Yeah, but so. how did they find him after that? Because they weren't fighting phantom when she found him. Because I'm just curious, um, if like how they're gonna get rid of the blight in the first place, because um, it right. wouldn't be cleansed by the water. Yeah, it's the, just, it's the... just too entrenched into him now. Mm -hmm. I, th I think. And Either that, or it's just because of Yuki and how it's just constantly mm -hmm. happening now. Uh, I think that's it. So we're gonna jump into the episode, guys. <sighs> well, alrighty. <laughs> That looks really, really bad. <laughs> he was covered in the blight. Mm -hmm. That moth did not help. It took a chomp on him. Mm -hmm. I was really worried about that. I thought, but I, I, I forgot that he had gotten a bottle of the cleansing water, so that helped a, a little bit. He Chekhov's was able to... bottle. Huh? Chekhov's bottle. What? Chekhov's, Chekhov's gun. You ever heard of that trope before? I'm in Lord Chekhov's manor. And he has this gun that's been passed down through generations sitting there. Oh, it, in Legends it was used to hunt demons or something. Uh -huh. Later in the story, like, I'm fighting a demon. Like, okay, I don't know what exactly to do. I see the gun. I grab so just it. just use what's around you. Not exactly using what are, what's around you. Like, something that is mentioned in the story. Okay. Well, like, later, like, because we saw the, the well, bottle. okay, yeah, mentioned. I get that trope. I just didn't know how to name. I, you didn't know how to name? No, I just I always knew it was a trope. Oh, that's or something that happens a lot. Yeah, so we saw the bottle was set up and stuff. Yeah, and I just forgot. I thought used. maybe he was gonna use that more on himself. I completely really forgot. I that think it was originally was may have been yeah to use that, but like he need, he mm -hmm. needed some an edge, right? And yeah. unfortunately, yeah. Uh, speaking of yeah, as you say, Yuki is losing that. He's dulling because um, his his actions. It just keeps like it's almost like it's, it's getting worse. It's a downward spiral. It's just going right really badly. He's, he's 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 acting worse and worse too. Like I was defending him with from with Nora earlier. He's like, don't you don't talk bad about my boy. I then, kinda, I couldn't say that because like I I haven't been really liking him all that much because of his his actions. Like he's well, I yeah. It's just, I was just feeling more sympathetic towards him just because of what he's gone through and the fact that his, the the as Yato had says mentioned that the the um. Emotions and, and stuff that regalia deal with, it's harder for them fight, to fight yeah. them. And so 
unfortunately with Yuki, it's uh, I'm assuming their past has something to do with it too. Like uh, it'll affect them, and they'll he wanted he'll want to take comfort in going and uh, uh, giving in to te the those temptations that he has. And the one that really just kind of struck a nerve was the one where he stole uh, a box that you put money in for charity. Yeah, yes. it was a what was it? I don't, what was it exactly? Um, I don't remember. I didn't write it down. Um, it was a disaster relief for ch a charity. Yeah. So I mean that's pretty messed up right there. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> I don't. I'm. I mean, I'm, I have hope that he's gonna get better. And like, there's something that's that's pushing him to keep. I mean, I know it's himself as well, but I'm just. There's something that seems to make him specifically want to give into it so easily. Because I mean, we have a what's her name? The new name? I think Mayu is the is the girl's new name. His old regalia. Mm -hmm. Um, she didn't seem to have any issues joining um Tenjin mm -hmm. and his other girls, obviously. Um. So yeah, I don't, I don't. I am worried. I I don't want him to be have to. I don't, I don't think they're gonna go through with like killing him. I hope that they don't. I don't want to because I he seemed the fact that he died young is kind of what gets me not one not not just like going against you him. Have a, you have a, like it it garnered a lot of sympathy for me. Yeah. Like he died young, which and I think yeah. that would do, that does it for most people. Like mm -hmm. he died young. He's that young looking because he died probably around the like And the, also it's Yato whenever he saw because he saw his life. Yeah, and, and so he and he also felt sympathy, but like it's it can only go so far. I think it feels. I like, mean, he hasn't is, killed anybody. <laughs> no, I meant like the whole like like the like he seems to be hard on him, maybe out of love or out of care. Like the whole like, hey, right. don't don't do he this. Is, he's, like, he's, he doesn't want to have to put him down. Essentially, yeah. so he's trying to prevent. He's also not, but he's he doesn't seem to be all that great at doing that like the whole nurturer thing like he's he's not that great at doing that and i think that's kind of hurting him I, like he, yeah. he like he, he like he's like telling him the whole hey don't do the bad thing so that'll mess me up well but also kind of like all that like other yeah. stuff like that like, i mean he needs to go he does need to go about it a different way um unfortunately he doesn't he hasn't had a whole lot of uh pra practice or i guess experience is what i was trying to think of uh with going about it that way because he's had apparently he's used nora he had, I guess he, I thought he'd killed his own regalia, but we, as we learned last episode, he killed somebody else's regalia, and then it was um, Bishamon. Well, so, I mean, he just doesn't have the experience to dealing with things in a, in a more sympathetic mm. manner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Or at least, I mean, he's mm. trying to, he just doesn't have that, you know, the way, he doesn't know how to right now. Yeah. I, I wasn't, I wasn't saying he couldn't, like, No, he didn't have it, like, I was just saying, yeah, like, yeah, like he, because of the, the experiences he's had, the way he's kind of lived. It's like, it's, what are you saying? I don't quite remember. What, do you remember what I was saying? Um, I think it was just about um his not having sympathy. Oh, was it wasn't that he was didn't have sympathy. It's just that he's not great at expressing his. No, yeah, I knew that. Man. Yeah, I wasn't saying that word. I'm just. Yeah, and it's just it. It does make me feel kind of bad because like it seems he's kind of trying. Mm -hmm. it's just he's just really not great at the whole at this type of yeah. I know. Be, and it's just yeah, it seems like because if he spent like a good chunk of his life just killing. Everything, I mean, right. not everything, you know, but, yeah. but still, he's killing. He's he's killed and killed a lot. I would be, it seems, mm -hmm. like if he was known as a calamity god yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. because of all the destruction he's kind of left in his way, and it's just, and it seems he used her a lot back in those days. I'm guessing. It seems because that's what she, I don't know about a lot, but he did use her. Um, no, I, I don't think, know what that one guy is. Oh, was he a god? I mean, he had a didn't he have a. He had like a little thingy mask as well. On his face. Like he had a mask. He didn't have a. Not like hers. Yeah, like it. Like she has that little ghost band. But he just has this kind of mask that looks like it has an eye or something or other on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Does that mean anything to you? I no? I don't like. It could be that he's like. It could be like something to do with the phantoms because remember they seem to have this whole eye thing for yeah. some reason. I don't but know. I don't know. It could be he's just a god. Yeah, we haven't seen him in the intro sort, at all, I don't think, have we? So, no, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, we, there could be something that references him in a way, because I remember openings like to do that, this type of anime and stuff. They like be like, oh, symbolism type of things Yeah. sometimes. Umbra. Because uh, remember, Umbra is another way of saying either Umbra or Umbra. But remember, Umbra meaning dark. Darkness, like it could just be a way, basically their version of kind of being shrouding invisible. Her? Yeah. yeah, shrouding her, I guess. shrouding her in a okay. sense from sight. Or... I just thought that they weren't paying her any attention because of the fact that uh, she, they don't think that she would notice her or that, that she would notice them. Um, yeah. But okay, so, that, so I was a little confused. I was like, like how did she not notice her? I mean, I get, you know, oh, she's you know, 
um, she's not going to notice us, so why pay her any attention? But the fact that she was just kind of like staring at them and just like not moving, I just thought that was a little weird. But that makes more sense. He shrouded her, uh, it uh, seems. So that, so that they could talk. Yeah, in front she, of her. she might so, not notice him. Yeah. So he was trying yeah, to basically uh, allow her to essentially warn Yato. Yeah. Um, so that was and interesting. Like a, but it does seem that he does have like Earring Man has a lot of respect for this dude. Cosmo. Cosmo. I always forget his name. Right. <gasps> Thank you. You reminded me. <laughs> I gotta go back to the beginning to get those names because there was no way I was writing that down. But I, mean, it seems, I feel like it seems I was right about the whole grudge thing. Like yeah. she's just kind of mostly obsessed about that. And yeah, I was gonna mention that she she is yeah it is kind of clouding her judgment more, but I wouldn't say it's corrupting her. I never said it was corrupt. I was saying like she was more obsessed the whole. I I, I uh, right. Yeah, I, didn't, but, I wasn't saying when I was saying that I was. I just looks so cool. Sorry, you were saying Kodaha. That's the uh, lion, right? Yeah. Okay. But um, what I meant, what I was saying was, I was right in the sense that, like, yeah, this this no, is yeah, I she get. doesn't. Like, I feel like it's more along the lines of like, this is just just less the whole, all the bad. God dang it! I like the I like Akiha's look. He looks kind of like a like a little hat and everything. And he looks almost like a not a show. Well, kind of a chauffeur, I guess. Kazuma. Kazuma. You can also look it up. Kazuma Kinaha. Is that what they do? Uh, Kinaha Kuraha Yugiha. What does that mean? Yuki. I put Yuki as this. Yugiha. Akiha. Kazuha. Karuha. Aya. Aya. I don't know. Minaha. Some of these we haven't gotten. Um, okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if those are like maybe the main uh, ones that she yeah. used to combat. Yeah, there's too much to look search, at. That's a lot. She has more. She has more. At least, and I don't know. Maybe she gets more in the second season or something. But there's. It could be. It, I mean, these could these could just be the main ones. No, I know. I, I heard you. Oh, yeah, I'm you saying. I thought yeah. that might be that, or there's uh, that she gets more in next or something. Yeah. I don't know. Kazuma also mentioned that he owes Yato. Yeah. So I'm. Just, oh, I has to do something. I'm assuming anyway that has to do with the with the, the regalia. Killing, yeah. The yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, maybe, like, it was, I mean, maybe it was causing her blight, and she didn't think, I guess, it, like, she didn't want to believe it, or maybe she still didn't want it, like, she's, like, Hiyori didn't want to kill it, she's trying to still bring it to, like, to not do those things, like, to bring it to her side, or not her side, but just to bring her to stop doing, or it to stop, it. they haven't said what it, who it was, um, to stop committing whatever kind of sins i guess it is that that uh the regalia was committing to maybe if, if that is why he killed the regalia um and it and and doing and killing the regalia saved uh bishamon and so maybe that's why kazuman is like thank you and says he owes says he owes uh yato a great deal i don't know what i mean it could, probably could be something that they'll say later it might be something completely different but i mean for now oh. that's the only thing i can think of at the moment why he um, so like why he's kind of regards Yato with a little more thankfulness, gratefulness than than Bishamon definitely is. And then we also found out about Nora, like what she. I don't think that's her actual name, but like that's what they're considered apparently. They they are regalias with just a crap ton of names mm -hmm, with a bunch of owners essentially. Yeah. So that's like you described that as like a stray cat that kind of goes from person to person. Yeah, and then it's it's uh, at more risk of it betraying the, their owner yeah, because they don't they have because they don't they don't have no a, a true loyalty to yeah. any one god. So yeah. So I wonder if that makes them stronger though. Because I mean they have the basic it's like I think anyway that they're basically imbuing the spirit with the god's power. So maybe it's like. Bunch of different gods' powers and viewing into the regalia, maybe. I don't know if that's how that works, though. But it just, it seems to me like like one of the main things that it has is that you can use it. Any any god can use it because right. any god can just. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm giving you a name real quick. And yeah. Then, discard it. And, and also. Yeah, and then. But and they don't ever really sever their whole right. contract thing. You just keep the name there. And then another reason I'm thinking that maybe that makes them stronger is because she also said. Yeah, you know, I can kill anything that's in your in your way. Like yeah. you know, you know I'm good. You know I can do that. And so I'm like, and also we kind of saw her how strong she was when she was she restrained uh, Kudaha last episode. I, I don't know about about her. I don't know. I wonder um, if it's a thing that all uh, regalia can or all regalia can do the binding thing because it seems she did it and also uh, he said it was it. a skill that he had. I don't know. I mean, I don't no, know because the, the skill that he had was talking about like the whole data thing and stuff like that. Well, no, she up. said. 
Because she was saying, how did you do that to me or something? He's like, that's a skill I have, I thought. I thought, you know, it's probably wrong. What did you just do to me? It's talent of mine manipulating the things around me. Hmm. I, I'm not sure if she means either the binding or being not being able to be noticed. Because that, like, that could do with the whole, like, it's since possible. he seems to information gather, that yeah, is a way of manipulating information, the the because like they can't they mm -hmm. can't see her so they don't know that mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm not sure because I mean we both we we know that they at least all regalia can make a bo uh, border so I don't yeah. know if that's like if they can all learn that or they have to have like a, like basically like a certain skill set imbued into them I, don't know. I, don't I mean know. I remember do they do mentioning that not all not all regalia are like that great at the whole like severing of binds and whatnot. Yeah. Or bonds, not or bonds. At least it takes more effort than most. Yeah. Especially than Yuki, it seems. Yeah. yeah, I think that's everything I have down, I think. Did you have anything else you wanted to mention? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay, okay well, we learned about Nora, at least more about her. I was... We, 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 we did those are her true name. Yeah, but yeah. we also... We didn't learn that, that those are basically her regalian names around yeah. her, so... That's... Um, at least got that confirmed, and now we have the question of who that guy is that was with her, if he's a god, or if he's, I don't know, he seems trouble, but I could be wrong, maybe I'm just assuming. Um, and and she's also kind of the sort of antagonizing uh, Yuki a bit. Right, because it seems she has, like, she really, she likes Yato. Yeah, now. like she has this, she's been following him for a while, like apparently, that. so. I don't know where that's going to go, I'm worried that Nora's going to. She gonna... seems a mate, like, like kind of like. Lost, like either lost or kind of confused, like yeah. reject. Yeah, like she it seems she's probably not used to him rejecting her like that. Mm -hmm. like and the guy. Go ahead. Uh, like, because it, it seems like if if he if his regalia normally don't last that long with him, I wouldn't be surprised if he probably had to turn to her a lot. Yeah, to um, fight things or whatever. Yeah, and the guy, the guy that was with her even said that he's not the guy he used to be. So she's definitely not. She, that's another thing. Yeah, so she's, she's not used to she's just not like what? That's it for this week's episode for Noragami guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go ahead and click the button right next to us. If you want to stick around for next episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when our videos go up, go ahead and click the bell icon down below. Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week. Bye!